This is a very special year as the Automotive Hall of Fame celebrates its 80th anniversary. This is a great organization that has been honoring men and women since 1939. When you think about this evening, we're inducting four unique individuals. They each created, they each led, and most of all, they each inspired. My father was a Ford dealer in Milwaukee. My uncle was a Dodge dealer, so I still love the aroma of the service department. I'm proud of what we contributed to the insurance industry, and I'm really proud to receive this honor. Thank you. At Indianapolis until four years earlier, Women weren't allowed in the pits, the garage area, or the press box for any reason whatsoever. A woman driver on the racetrack was unthinkable. We were challenging a tradition that extended back to the first Indianapolis 500 in 1911. And in spite of some problems during the race, we got a top 10 finish. Dick taught our children and grandchildren the type of person he himself chose to be. That being honest, trustworthy, loyal, caring, positive, respectful, and a loving human being. Dick showed his family that working hard is a good thing and telling them that the only place you will find success before work is in the dictionary. Each interaction with Sergio was intellectually and it was socially deep. He was not interested in superficial discussions and he didn't look over your shoulder for the next person to talk to. He wanted to know about your passions. He wanted to know about your vulnerabilities and your ambitions. He summed up our ambitions by simply saying, mediocrity is never worth the trip. So on behalf of everyone at FCA, thank you very much. <laughs>